if you're a school admin you need to log in go to services put your login details and login you will need to read the terms and conditions important read it and click I have read and agreed so that you can continue it's about the data protection act and your responsibility as being a school admin once you're logged in you then go to admin area and select institute your first task is to update your school details check in that the information that is provided to you is accurate change it to be accurate if it is not accurate your organization should be ministry of education because this is testing i'm going with that school type you choose the school type that is relevant to your school if it is not there then you need to email me at admin at zyqual.com so i can update the list with the correct information so you can be you can select it choose your region when you choose your region the qec is available in that region will be available for you to select so select the correct region i'm putting this test school in region 7 and i'm saying that we are in qec 47 capacity has to do with how many students are in your school the date that the school was opened so with this you can't go back so you can simply type the date day month then year then choose the school logo or institute logo you should use tiny png.com to reduce the size of your logo so for example i'm going to click on here so you go to tinypng.com and then you click on this icon here to upload your image so i'm going to select it notice my image is 29 kilobytes that's already small but i'm just doing this for demonstration purpose you click open and you can see that the file was 29 kilobytes and it's now reduced to 9.7 kilobytes that will help the site to keep um to, to to speed up speed up basically if you upload a file or image that is so big each time someone from your school loads zyqual it's going to take a little while to load so this will help your end of your site to speed up so i'm now going to download that image i can see that it's in my download folder um, I can see that it's in my download folder and I can then load from there so I'm gonna click choose I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and I can see that there open it and it's now saved school contact information I'm gonna put the principal's details this principal's the school's ministry of education email address this account can also add or act as the school admin um, i'm gonna put other contact details the jtc or the ministry might need to get in touch at some point i can put a picture of the principal so that everyone will know who the principal is and notice the size of the of the image it's 250 pixels by 250 the size of the logo is the same 250 by 250 so get your logo made and reduce to that size so that it fits perfectly in the banner section up here notice it's not showing because currently i did not save one i just uploaded it but once i do the save it should appear here and all members of staff within your school will be able to see the logo um, so i fill in the school contact details upload a picture of the principal fill in the different phone contacts so that and the Ministry of Education or the JTC can get in touch with this, your school if they need to do so. Location information. Um, this school is in um, 
Middlesex. I'm going to choose the parish. Parish is Clarendon. And it is located to the nearest post office that I collect mail, Spallings. Uh, so that's what your postcode will be based on the closest post office to your school. Not necessarily where you collect it, but the, the closest post office to your school. And your country obviously is Jamaica. You can put the name of your MP. Um, so your MP is part of your QEC and therefore QEC information will be given to them or so when they get access. Uh, you can also put an image of your, your uh, MP and you can change this as you go along. They can be any one of the three major parties in Jamaica or two. You know, so it doesn't matter which one for this demonstration is just that it's there for you to choose. Uh, your education officer, if they are not in this list, then put test for now until we add them to the list. Emails will be sent out that all education officers are added pretty soon. And then you, you know, make sure you don't make any changes here. Um, you leave that as is. Do not change this. Oh, your school must not have this ticked. All schools will have faculty. So leave that unchecked. Do not touch days. And make sure that you have send email notification. Because this is a dummy school, I'm taking that off. The reason why that is there is that whenever some action is performing the system um, for a user, like observations and those things, they will be notified. If that is unchecked, they will not be notified. But when they log in, they will see it anyway. But leave it ticked so that everyone is notified. And once that is done, you have completed. So you click save. And now notice my logo is now showing. My logo is showing. The final bit that I didn't show you was um, here. On Zyqual, your school image will be shown. And this image is a, is a 600 by 600 image. If you want an image made by Zyqual, you can contact admin at zyqual.com for details in relation to that. Um, However, let me show you what that will look like on the Zyqual's website as a school that is being supported or using Zyqual, your school image will be displayed here. So for example, I uploaded this sample image for KC and when visitors visit this site, they will be able to see your school image underneath your name. And when they click on more, you can find more schools there that are currently active on Zyqual and your image will be shown there so over here this is where you click choose and mine is on my desktop and that is my image that i'm gonna save remember that the size is 600 pixels by 600 if it is different it might look different on the site and not show properly so ensure it is 600 by 600 and if you need zyqual to make one for you for your school then get in touch for the details around that so you can always contact us at admin at .com. Preferably put um, website image as the title so that it can be picked up. And you click save. Once it is saved, you can then return to your dashboard. Look out for the next video to see what to do next.